Hello, Gary Crowley here with video two of four videos uh, showing you some exercises for chondromalacia patella knee pain relief. Uh, in the first video, we showed you how to release all these big quadricep muscles on the front of your thigh, which are usually the big, big players in, uh, in chondromalacia. And hopefully from that work alone, you've uh, noticed some improvement in your knee. Uh, and noticed your particular pattern in your body for where you hold those tight muscles that are maybe causing that chondromalacia pain. Uh, in video two here, we're going to continue with kind of the front and sides of your body a little bit. Um, we did the vastus lateralis, that outer quad, in the last video, but now we want to do the basically your um, IT band, um, which is a big tendon that comes off your tensor fascia lata muscle, which is right up on the side of your hip here. And uh, personally, I like to release this tensor fascia lata muscle first, and so I'm going to take my belt off to do that. Um, but you are, you know, we're right here. Here's the top of my hip bone. Here's the side of my, the head of my femur. And all in between there is your tensor fascia lata muscle. Simplest way I've learned to get at it is to take a tennis ball, steal it from your dog if you have to, uh, it's worth it, and basically lie on it. Now you can lie on the floor, um, or you can lie on a little, you know, a carpeted rug, uh, whatever you need, but basically the more cushion you lay into, the less intense it's going to be uh, pushing back into your body. So for me, this is about right, and there's a... There's a little tender spot. You've got to scooch around a little bit, but basically, and again, as I show you on the techniques page of my, uh, my website, uh, basically, you do not want to massage that muscle with the ball. You want that ball pressing into a tight spot, a tight tissue spot, which is basically tender and painful. That's how you know it's tight. And when you find that spot, you, with your body weight, as much as you can relax into, you move that leg to get that muscle moving that you're pressing into, and with your tensor fascia lata muscle, you kind of got to have a pretty good movement with that leg, but there it goes. My right one's usually tight, the way I sit at the computer too much is probably what causes mine more than anything, but there it goes. And um, that basically helps your brain know that that's what you, you want to release. Uh, when you're making that tight muscle try to function, your brain really does pay attention and wants to let it go. So now that you've released this, this tendon that was might have been tight before we did this is already going to be improved. But basically now the tendon that runs up the side of your leg, your tensor fascia lata um, tendon, is basically we're going to do what we did on the quad. We're going to do mostly a press, pull, release, press, pull, release. And again, I personally, I can get you know, some decent pressure here, but it's, it's not enough to really affect the tissue well but you get that other hand over there and you press into those fingertips and I'm pulling into my leg, you can get some really good leverage. And again, you only work as deeply as you can relax into. You don't need to torture yourself because if you do torture yourself, it, it puts too much static in the communication to your cerebellum uh, that is basically governing how tight these muscles are. So you want as much as you can relax into. Like I feel that, I'm tight right here. I feel that, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release. If you want to do some type of press hold move thing, let your leg hang and do a little of that, that'll get a little movement going. Uh, personally, I like a, on my, my TFL, I just like the press pull release, press pull release, press pull release. And then um, do that, you can follow it all the way up. In me, it's a little tighter down here. Um, and again, you take your time, you don't have to do it all at once, you can take a break if your hands get tired, but this, this hand on hand makes a huge difference. So now we did this side. Video one, we did all this in the front. Now we've done the side. We just want to check the inside of this of this leg. Um, your basically your the longest muscle in your body is your sartorius muscle, and it's this muscle right here. Starts way up at the top of your hip, goes across your leg down to the inside of your knee, and that muscle is very important for keeping your knee nice and stable. So if it's tight and it can't fire, um, your knee's going to have a tendency to drift and you're gonna, your knee's going to get aggravated. So uh, unlike this side and here where I like to use my fingertips, 
I find on the inside of my legs, it's easier for me to get both my thumbs in there. And thumbs are pretty strong, so I'm just doing a press pull release, press pull release, and yeah, I'm kind of on that quad muscle as well, because those two muscles are kind of lay on top of each other a little bit, but I'm just checking especially this lower third of my sartorius just to make sure it's not tight and it can do its job because we want everything tracking properly we want that that knee wants to track straight forward and back when you're running or walking or hiking um, that is you know how it was designed to to move and uh, if it starts moving funny in some other way then you're probably going to end up with a, a knee that is getting annoyed at you and will be inflamed and sending you pain signals so so I just do that uh, if I get up here I can use my fingertips a little bit just check on the inside of this this leg my adductors my groins as some people say but nothing too bad I'm a little tight here so if I uh, were doing this myself I'd probably spend a few minutes here and maybe remember to try to come back to that and the last thing on the front of the body we're going to do is your tibialis anterior muscle so this muscle here that lifts your foot is called your tibialis anterior. Um, that's your shin bone, right? So your shin bone's on the inside, and the outer half is this tibialis anterior. Now I will sometimes do a hand-on-hand -hand press hold move technique, again demoed on my techniques page. Um, and that's good, but this is this is a pretty strong muscle. So sometimes I'll take a lacrosse ball or something like that, and I'll use my body weight to lean back and I'll find those tender spots and I'll do a press hold move that way um, but I also like to because this is a pretty strong muscle so I'll either take a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball and I will basically find those tender spots and just use my body weight on them a chair or a bench and this is great because it takes very little effort on my part, uh, but it's highly effective. And I'm just finding those tender spots, making that tissue under it move and function, finding another tender spot. As you can tell, my tibialis anterior is actually pretty tight. So I actually need, <laughs> I actually need to do this. So after uh, this video series is uh, over, I'm going to have to spend a little time on my... Um, on my tensor fascia, on, on my uh, tibialis anterior here, because it's funny actually when I've been running and I've been noticing my calves a little, little less than optimal, and I think it's actually coming out of here, but that's a whole other story. So, um, and you can use a tennis ball as well. That lacrosse ball is pretty intense, but a tennis ball here, tennis ball here is about perfect for me anyway. It's it's enough pressure that the muscle will release, but it's enough pressure that uh, I can relax into it and it's a, uh, it's just, tennis ball is just about right I think for my tibialis anterior, you may be a little different. So that is video two of, uh, of four videos for your chondromalacia patella knee pain. Um, so just take a minute and just go through your head, think back video one, what was tight, what was my pattern, video two, what was really tight uh, on me. Uh, just so you can remember what might need a little more work and um, after you do that, I will see you at video three. Thank you.